Google Classroom, you first need to log into your Chrome browser with your Pensbury account, then come up to the Google Apps button and select Drive to make sure that you're logged into Pensbury. Once you see the Pensbury P, you can go to the Google Apps button or the Burnt Waffle, come down until you see Google Classroom and launch it. The first time you launch Classroom, you're going to have to tell Classroom that you're a teacher. Otherwise, if you tell it you're a student, you're only going to be able to join classes, not create classes. So to create a class, you're going to click on the plus in the top right and select create class. Then give your class a name and hit the create button. Once Google creates your classroom, it will open to the stream page. On the stream, if you would like, you can change the theme of your classroom. So I'm going to click select theme and I'm going to click on the computer and so select my class theme. So on the stream, this is where communications are going to show up and announcements that you put up on the class. The classwork tab is where you're going to be able to add assignments and questions, add materials, and use and reuse posts. On the people page, this is where you can add a co-teacher or you can manually enter your students by typing in their name or their student ID at pensburysd.org. And the grades is where you're going to find and grade student work that is handed back in. Off to the right hand side, you can get to the class settings with the settings cog. From here, you can adjust your class details, such as changing the class name. You can add a description, the section, the room number, or the subject. Under the general settings is where you're going to find the class code in your Google Classroom. My suggestion is once the students add themselves in and join your class for the first time that you disable or change your class code so students cannot bring themselves in and out of your Google Classroom. On the stream, you can determine whether or not students will have the ability to post and comment, whether you're going to restrict students to comment only, or whether you would like only teachers to post and comment onto the stream. Once you've made changes, you can click the Save button in order to go back to the main page.